He's coming off a second place finish with England at the Euros. And he's Manchester United's newest superstar. From London to Manchester, then Dortmund, and back to Manchester? There's a lot to learn about this young baller. Here are 10 things you didn't know about Jaden Sancho. Number one, idols. Oh my goalers, quick, don't think, just answer. Who was Jaden's biggest idol growing up? If you guessed Ronaldinho, you're right. He just beat people with ease and did things that no one else was doing at his time. I used to watch Ronaldinho and go, wow, I want to be like him one day. Hopefully I can become that level one day and players will look up to me and say, wow. But Ronnie wasn't his only idol. Jaden also looked up to a Manchester United legend. It'd have to be Rooney because he was doing madness at Manchester United. Even at Everton when he made his debut, he was too grown for everyone at his age. But he also looked up to Marco Reus. And the tricky German helped Jaden settle in when he first moved to Dortmund. Number 2. Favorite Club Besides those idols, Jaden had a few other role models growing up, and they played for his favorite team. I was a Chelsea fan growing up, I can't lie. Didier Drogba and Frank Lampard were my favorite players at the time. I just love Frank Lampard and how he played his game. He was so direct and so composed on the ball. I like things like that. Jaden's flirted with a move to Chelsea throughout his career, both before and after his stint at Manchester City, and once again this summer. But he wound up on the red side of Manchester instead. But that's normal. Jamie Carragher famously supported Everton as a kid, and Harry Kane was in the Arsenal Academy. These days, Jaden insists he doesn't support any one club in particular. Keeping your options open, eh? Number 3. Trinidad Jaden featured sparingly for England during this summer's Euros and came up short in the penalty shootout. But imagine he didn't make England's squad at all because instead, he was playing for Trinidad and Tobago in the Gold Cup. Despite being born in London, both of Jaden's parents moved to England from the Caribbean nation. So, theoretically, he would have been eligible to represent the Soka Warriors on the world stage. It doesn't seem like he's ever seriously considered this. But imagine that instead of assisting against the USA in his first England start, he was preventing them from qualifying for the World Cup in 2018. Number 4. Tattoos Last summer, Jaden turned up to Dortmund training with a new haircut and a few new tattoos, including a portrait of his favorite television show, The Simpsons. And below Homer, Marge and company, Jaden has a tattoo of Sonic the Hedgehog, as well as a depiction of his favorite superhero, Spider-Man. But the most touching tattoo is on his other arm. It's a tribute to his baby brother, who tragically passed away when Jaden was five. It reads, You and me will stay together. You made us happy. You brought us joy. You were a special baby boy. I couldn't wait till you grew up, teach you football and win the cup. But you're gone. What can I do? Baby brother, we love you. Number 5. Favorite Players Okay, we've heard about his idols, but what about his contemporaries? Obviously, he loves both Messi and Cristiano, but there are two other players that Sancho really respects. Neymar and Mbappe. It speaks for itself. Their numbers are crazy, especially Mbappe. He's doing very well, especially how young he is. He's setting the tone for every youngster in the world, and every youngster should be looking up to him because he's done crazy things at his age. Neymar's just different. He takes the mickey out of people. He's just being himself. He's expressing himself, and I love that. The two PSG superstars have shown love to Jaden in the past, too, with Neymar calling him a special player and Mbappe saying that Sancho will go far. Number 6. Best Friends Jaden had a well-documented bromance with new club teammate Marcus Rashford. Last summer, he texted Marcus to try and force through his transfer to United. Can you ask Ed to pay the money, please? And Marcus even leaked Jaden's arrival earlier this summer on Twitter. But there are two other England players who consider Jaden their best friend. Most surprisingly, Trent Alexander-Arnold. I played with him for England and he's a special, special talent. But his best friend above all is Reese Nelson. The two have known each other since childhood and even won a youth football tournament together aged 11. Number 7. WhatsApp His transfer to United was one of football's worst kept secrets for almost two years. Last summer, Jesse Lingard accidentally revealed that Jaden is part of his Call of Duty squad. 
which was otherwise made up of only Man United players. And rumors swirl that he's been part of a United only WhatsApp group for over a year. But during his time in Germany, Jaden actually ran his own exclusive WhatsApp group. It was called Brits Abroad and it was for British footballers playing across the continent. Now that he's back home, we wonder who the new admin will be. Number 8. Nicknames Some fans have taken to calling him Jaden Sancho because of his tricky play, goals and assists. And even though that's a truly great nickname, it's not his only one. His youth football mates nicknamed him Rocket, not only because of his blazing speed, but also his tricky feet. And when he burst onto the scene in Dortmund, fans in the yellow wall began calling him the Assist King, an apt nickname as he finished his Dortmund career with 64 assists in 137 appearances. Number 9. Records Sancho's Dortmund debut was record-breaking enough. He was the first ever Englishman to play for them in the Bundesliga. And from there, he just kept breaking records. He scored 13 goals in 2018-2019, making him the youngest Dortmund player to reach double-digit goals in a single season. And in 2020 alone, he became the youngest player ever to score 30 Bundesliga goals, the first Englishman in 25 years to register 15 goals and 15 assists in a single season, and the youngest and fastest player to ever reach 50 Bundesliga assists. Manchester United fans will be hoping for more of the same this season. Number 10. Rap uh, No, he's no Erling Holland or Memphis Depay, but Jaden is a big fan of rap and hip-hop. Our good friend Daniel Got Hits even made a music video about him. We're sure Jaden loved it because he's frequently been seen living it up with rappers from all over the world. Here he is with Drake. And yes, he did fall victim to the Drake curse. Just days after this photo, Dortmund were smashed 5-0 by Bayern. And here he is rapping Man's Not Hot with Aubameyang. Yeah, we can't play the audio, but just imagine it, I guess. He's also been spotted hanging out with UK rapper Dave for ages. And because Dave is the unofficial director of football at United, no, this didn't help the rumor mill. Jaden was also spotted at a house party with UK rapper Crept and Conan in 2020. So it's clear that Jaden and hip hop go hand in hand. There you have it, oh my goalers. Those were 10 things you didn't know about Jaden Sancho. Are you excited to see him line up for the Red Devils this season? Will he thrive or will he flop? And did we miss anything you should know about him? Let us know!